What's up guys? Welcome back to the iCloud Go channel. If someone else signed into your iPad with their own Apple ID and enabled Find My iPad, you'll need the password to remove it. What if they failed to deliver? Or this is your own Apple ID, but you forgot the password. Is it still possible to remove it from the iPad? Fortunately, yes. In this video I'm going to show you how to pull it off with two simple methods. So, let's dive in. The first one is using For Me key. With it you don't need any password. Before we start, it's recommended to back up your iPad to iCloud or computer. Then disconnect it from the internet. Now launch For Me key. Plug your iPad into the laptop. Go to the Turn Off Find My iPhone field. Click Start. Then agree to the disclaimer for the jailbreak. We'll unjailbreak the device later, so rest assured. Once downloaded the firmware, Insert an empty USB thumb drive into the laptop. Then start creating the bootable drive. Soon, you'll see a guide showing you how to jailbreak iOS devices on Windows. You can scan the QR code here to view the guide on your other iPhone or iPad. When you're ready, restart the computer. As it boots up, press F12 key to enter the boot option, then boot it from the UEFI hard drive. Soon we'll see the check green jailbreak wizard. Make sure the iPad is still attached. Then we should see the device information right here. It says the iOS is not supported at this point. Let's go to the option, check off allow untested iOS. Then quit back. Now it says iPad is untested. That's good. Let's proceed. Press next to put it into recovery mode. Now here goes the DFU guide. Press start. Quickly complete each steps before the countdown is over. For iPad 7, is press and hold the top and home button for 4 seconds. Then release the power button but keep holding the home button for another 10 seconds. In DFU mode, the jailbreak code will be jumping on your iPad. Well done, let's go ahead and check it out. If you see the check green app, it means the jailbreak has come through. Now let's reboot the computer and open for me key to start over. This time you'll get straight to the device information screen. Click on start to proceed. Well done. Now it says find my iPhone turned off successfully. Let's proceed with the FMI status verification. Copy the serial number, then click on Verify the FMI status. Now paste the serial number into the search bar, and click on the search button. As you can see, the Find My Device service is off now. Let's switch back to For Me key, and enter the search result. Then hit Continue. The iPad will be restored to factory settings. You can still back up your iPad in this point. Okay, now that we see the hello screen, let's go ahead and set it up. Here goes the data and privacy option, which means the Apple ID has been removed. Let's move on. Once we got to the home screen, in settings, we'll notice the Apple account has been signed out. The second method is using iTunes. You'll need to know the device passcode and make sure two-fact authentication is enabled. Then open iTunes, connect your iPad, then press and hold the top and home button to put it into recovery mode. Now head back to iTunes and select Restore. It'll start after downloading the firmware. Once you got the hello screen, proceed with the setup till you see the activation lock. Now you can unlock it with the device passcode. Just like this. That's all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. This is Tenorshare channel.
See you in the next one.